Hello everyone, it's me, Colin, the Gaming Bard, and we're going to be playing Lies of P. Uh, I've already played through this game, but I'm going to do a fresh one, not New Game Plus, um, just so we can all experience it together like it's the first time. But spoilers, I know it's I know it's not the first time, and I know what happens, so I'm not going to spoil it as we go. But I might drop a hint here or there, like, ooh, watch out for that. Anyway, New Game, here we go. So Lies of P nominated for two categories in game of the year uh best art direction and best rpg it didn't win either but uh it definitely i mean it deserves a nomination for sure and um you know baldur's gate 3 won so <laughs> what can you do going up against that for best rpg carlo collodi of course is the original author of the pinocchio story back in Gosh, 17-something? 16-something? It's a really old story. Um, it's me, P. A benefit item was delivered. Oh. Oh? <laughs> Is this a gift or because I started a new game? I didn't get this the first time I played. Sure, okay. <laughs> wow. I can already change my costume, put on a cool hat. Good pupper. Who's a good pupper? It's me. I'm a good pupper. Now I'm Abraham Lincoln. As like a 12 year old. Um, lofty humans use dignity and grace to elevate themselves. True elegance does not need a sword to conquer an opponent. But I do. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just do the default because I'm just starting out, of course. Um, this is... I got to talk over the dialogue, obviously. Interact. I love how they took the Jiminy Cricket character and they're like, but what if it was Gemini? But we said a Gemini? Also, someone murdered this book. Thank you. Uh, yes, next. Done. Someone murdered the heck out of this book. Jesus, you think that's wine? <laughs> Light to the lamp. show well now is as good a time as any to plug my lies of p video um youtube channel the gaming bard uh does music analysis of video game music and uh, my most recent one was about the music in lies of p so uh go check it out put the link in the description Get to the hotel. Path of the Cricket. Bastard Sweeper. So, last time I played this game, <laughs> last time I played through this game, I picked Dexterity. And by the second boss, was running a strength build. Because you can't compete with a bonk, you know? Like, ooh, I'm so fast. Whatever. Like, if the shorter the battles are, the <laughs> less you die, right? So... I don't want to do balance because it seems like a cop-out, but uh, I'm going to... Let's see. Figure... That's, yeah, that is pretty balanced. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to do... I'm going to do... Okay, if you like dexterity builds, that's fine. Just, you know, at me. I don't give a crap. But I'm going to go with the strength build, and I'll tell you why. Because the capacity is higher. And that governs how much weight you can use and um and i really like the armor is heavy so now hold on i just i read about a thing like a secret and i didn't find it in my first playthrough oh my god it's a secret it's 
it's a, it's a nothing. It's a secret nothing. Good thing I jacked up that shoji screen just to find another locked door. Cool. Secret secrets are so fun. Anyway, strength build, FT dubs. Woom. Welcome to Bloodborne 2. This is, of course, a much anticipated sequel to Bloodborne. See, like, that probably took me three hits from Dexterity Build. I'm not messing around with that. Let's get it done, son. Give me that sawtoothed wheel. Oh no, I'm covered in oil. You covered it, Earl. Give me a little, little less Earl on my shirt. Le Grand d'Exhibition. Something 29. Something 29? 1829? 1929? A Pulse Cell 29? Investigate? 18XX. But that says 29. 1829, I guess. Now that is interesting. They made a big deal about the fact that this game was set in the Belle Epoque period, which is like 1870s to 1914, basically, basically up until World War One. So 1829, well, oh, well, I suppose maybe like that happened in 1829, and then obviously stuff hit the fan, <laughs> and here we are 50 years later in the apocalypse. Legion arm, bam! Oh, I got a Popeye arm. Punch a puppet. Yeah, I know that door's locked. I'm not even going to bother. Not going to waste y'all's time I'm trying to open a locked door. Perfect guard. So I'll just tell y'all right now, I... <laughs> Could you block a bullet? Um, I had a lot of feelings in the first time I played through this game with a perfect guard. Because, well, I don't know. You'll probably figure it out as we go along because I'm not going to do a very many perfect guards. It's a lot of imperfect guards. Ouch, the wall. Mm, seizure alert, a little late. Sorry about all that flashing. Camera got stuck on the wall. But, um, so the perfect guard is, like, if you hold guard, then you still take a little damage, even if you block it. And it has sort of like Bloodborne's rally system, where you can get that health back if you're really aggressive after blocking. Some enemies, like, just don't <laughs> give you the chance to attack. They're like, nope, I'm faster than you. Um... The perfect guard, if you nail the timing, does not take any damage away from you, not take any health away from you, but it's still, or no, I get this wrong, it doesn't take any stamina. You block it, and it doesn't require stamina, um, which is like, oh, cool, well, a win-win, right? Except if they're in the middle of a combo, it doesn't break up their combo. Passengers, if anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to clear, steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. To shred you, Shay. I like the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone. I've always wondered about the notes in stories and games and books and stuff that people leave, like, as they're dying. The one that comes to mind is in... Lord of the Rings when they're in Moria and Gandalf's reading the book and it's like the last um ah oops that didn't work shit <laughs> I thought I would do a jump attack what is this not Elden Ring um and he's reading the book and it's like the last entrance of the dwarves against the goblins okay cool yeah I'll use a fable art Huh, that did less damage than a regular attack. 
and you can like they're like drums in the deep they are coming we cannot get out they are coming and like you can see the scribble like the, the handwriting's like fading away like scribbling down on the page like is he like being killed i guess not like being killed by an orc is a slow death you know like they hit you with a their their nasty sword like they cut your head off they stab you or something they don't like quietly wait for you to finish your memoirs um oops let's use that all right good time to practice perfect guards and so when people are oops when people are writing their last whoops i thought it was my turn that wasn't my turn um when people are writing their last note to someone do they do they know you know and and how awkward is it when they're like this is the last thing i'll write and they finish it and they're like i thought i was dying faster i just have like another 30 minutes should i have written more um did i write too much like second guessing everything they wrote and uh anyway i just always thought about that when you find a note and you're like i'm dying like are you dying or do you, are you, like how fast how fast lord um okay let's equip a thing i got a thing let's see it's heavier but better physical damage reduction so i'm gonna take it that's the only one i got uh-huh weapon one weapon two only got the one cool no amulets not yet usable item do i have Sure, Fable Catalyst, and some Dim Ergo. Um, I guess I'll equip that in case I want to throw stuff. And uh, extra bag. No, I don't need to equip anything there. Um, okay. Grind my weapon real quick. This this arm has so many functions. I think that's just, just great. Uh, all right. Now where to? What did he give me? Did he give me a key? Not this door. One of the doors open. Does this door open? Donk is there. Shortcut unlocked, except it's not really a shortcut because I have no reason to ever go back there again. So out, out of the train station. This game obviously has a lot of similarities to Dark Souls, Soulsborne green games, obviously. Um, combat being the greatest similarity. However, what I really, really like about it, and I guess we'll discover this as we go along, is that whereas Dark Souls is like, um, like you don't need to know what's going on, just play the game. And if you want to know the story, oh, sorry, she's talking. that line means because it definitely never runs out level up that's nice I don't you level up till you get to the hotel I'll do it up your stamina I have two levels okay yeah sure more stamina unless yeah weapon scales with strength of course do that um oh I can almost level up again Obviously, as you can tell, this is not any sort of challenge run. Might as well use the other one. Uh, I'm just just playing the game, you know? I'm just trying to have a good time. Vitality. You don't need vitality if you don't get hit. Don't need stamina yet. Increase that. I'll need that later. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, combat wise, it's very Dark Soulsy. In honor of Valentinus, who erected the cornerstone of origin. Valentinus, a uh, weird flex to just hold a body in your hand, but um, okay. Is that a menorah? No, there's only seven. There's eight on, on a menorah, right? I don't know. Hanukkah just started. Happy Hanukkah. Do you want enjoying that? Or celebrating that? Um, very exciting. Whoa, doggos. Can't do that with a dex build. Oops, <laughs> you, you can't do that either. <laughs> Holy smokes. There we go. How about now, Jiminy? Are these puppet numbers acceptable? Anyway, yeah. So Dark Souls would have you, like, read the item descriptions, learn what happens. And there's a little bit of that in this game, obviously. Like here, Crot Times Issue 183. The Crot Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Venini company, Kratz's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now, with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens are advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Crot Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. So, like, yeah, that's an item. You read it to learn some of the story. But that story is, like, very clearly spelled out. There is something called the Puppet Frenzy. The puppets are all f a frenzy. And they're killing people. Casualties. Hundreds of casualties. Meanwhile... Secondary conflict, petrification disease. What does it mean? We don't know, but we know that it's happening. And like, very clear exposition, even in the item descriptions. And then there's like, characters that will talk to you, and not talk to you like, oh, you should never have come here, you can't do anything, like in Dark Souls. But characters are like, hey, let me tell you what happened. So in that regard, it's got a lot of like, um... Bioshock flavor to it, you know, like, like significant story elements that are revealed to you, but it's got that Dark Souls combat. So to me, it's like the best of both worlds because one of my biggest frustrations with Dark Souls, first time I played Dark Souls 1, was like, I beat the boss, I beat the final boss, I finished the game, credits rolled, and I literally out loud, I was like, so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> like, I had no idea what I had just done. Um, you know, and was could I have paid more attention? Yeah, probably. But was it spelled out for me? Definitely not. So, I like that about this game, that it, you know, sort of narratively holds your hands, while combat-wise definitely challenges you. Um, it was a really good balance, in my opinion, and... I don't know. I don't know if I would have called it best RPG. You know, it's a great game, but if you're up against something like Baldur's Gate, it's hard to hard to compete with that. You know, because it's not. It doesn't feel like an RPG. Like I wouldn't. Like it is. Obviously, I just leveled up stats, so it's an RPG. But not in the same way that like, I mean, Baldur's Gate is like a like a direct descendant of D&D. &D. Like, that's, you know, make your, choose your character, build your character, Skyrim, Baldur's Gate. Like, those games are clearly RPGs. The action RPG genre is a little bit more like, I don't know. Should be its own thing, maybe. <laughs> like, Lies of Peace should not have been up against Baldur's Gate. It made sense for Starfield to go up against Baldur's Gate. And it made sense for Baldur's Gate to wipe the floor with it. Um, anyway, I, I don't have any... I've never played Baldur's Gate. I would like to. I haven't played it yet. Um, so I'm not really criticizing anything at all. I think this is an excellent game. Solid contender for the game of the year. 
they didn't win it, and I understand why. Um, I just wonder if there might be some tweaking with the categories where games like this could stand on their own two legs a little better. But I guess then you'd have the question of like, well, what would it compete against? It's not like any other Soulsborne game or released. So. I think, God for the subtitles, I didn't get any of those words in my ears. I would not have got that. And even with the subtitles, it's just, again, just kind of telling you what the what the newspaper told us. Things are bad, yo. Fury attack. Counter with the perfect guard. Okay. It says you can't dodge it, but you can get away from it. Ouch. Did it work? Give me another chance. Why are you smiling at me? Creepy ass smile. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Hold the phones here. I gotta dodge. Gotta block this fella. Ouch. Oh, come on. Get the timing. Get the timing. Bang. Too soon. Uh, that was... I got scared. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe next time we'll figure that timing out. Pulse cell discharge. So that's another neat thing about this. Unlike the Dark Souls Bloodborne games, is if you're out of your healing items, you can recharge it by attacking enemies. Which, again... There it is. It rewards aggressive playing style. Which... Cool, yeah, cool, except when you're up against enemies that literally don't give you a chance to breathe. You know, like, you can't be aggressive, you're non-stop dodging or blocking. So, you know, hit and miss. But that counts. Whoa. Uh-oh. It was Mr. Green with a candlestick. In the alleyway. Plunge attack. Yeah, that'll do him. Uh oh, my weapon is gonna break. There we go, right as rain. Okay, all right, went that way. That's the way to the hotel. This is the way to whatever that is. <laughs> That's what I'm about. Venini's Urgent Repair Tool. I don't think I've ever used that. It's probably really useful, but by the time you get to enemies where you're like, oh no, my weapon durability. <laughs> I don't live long enough for the, ouch. For the weapon to run out of durability, you know? This game really gives you a lot of items right up front. Like, I'm already having to put those in storage. Not those. I think I used maybe five sawtooth wheels in my last playthrough. Perfectly good item. It's like um, it's like the pebble in Bloodborne. It doesn't do any damage, but it gets someone's attention. And if you want to like separate a crowd, it's pretty handy. Okay, cool shortcut. Awesome, except again unnecessary because here is a checkpoint. Whoa! You talking to me? Ouch! <laughs> Alright, fine, you win. Here's a guy. You don't look like a puppet. Alright, actually, you kind of do. What'd you have? Facial reconstruction surgery? Hello there. I've been walking around pretty soon. 
Yeah, it's me, a stalker, not a puppet. <laughs> Posers. Are you still considering this a festival? Okay, sold out. Throwing cell, usually pretty handy. Puppet saber blade. Hmm, I do like to collect weapons. That's the one I have. Oh, these are the starting weapons. So I can... I can acquire them if I so desire. Hmm. How much is it? 300? Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? Just the completionist in me wants it, you know? Um, I don't think I'm going to need that to beat this guy. So, just leave it be. Those, those, um... Electrical things, the throwing projectiles, and the whatever the other one is that infuses your weapon. Those are pretty useful later on, but I don't think I'll need it for this first boss. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter, and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulders. This Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. I can't wait to hear its 16 songs and be delighted by its jovial charm or whatever it said. That's definitely how I'm going to experience it. Now's the time to get a little more health. I'm not ashamed of leveling up health. It's a valid way to play the game. All right, Let's see if we can do this on the first try. Well, if I do that to him, I'll win. Put straight through a metal gate. Jesus, just. That's a festival, a festival! Oh, he does look like a fun time. Well, I am charmed and delighted. So I'm gonna put a plunger on his head. Bam, perfect guard. Eat it. Oops. Ouch. Get up. Get up, Pinocchio. Get up. Oops. That didn't take. Better heal real quick. Ouch. Dang, not getting the perfect guards I need. And, okay, good, you missed. So, yes, so this is my problem with a perfect guard, is it told me if you get a perfect guard, It'll stagger the man. His thing will turn white and you'll stagger him. It, that's what it said to me. Anyway, I got a lot of perfect guards there, as you could see. And he turned white. And yes, he hit me, but I hit him too. And I didn't stagger him. So it seems like slightly inconsistent. Oops, that was not good. Oh boy. Don't want to be over there. Alright, that was my last one. Oops. Oh dear, oh dear. Things aren't looking good for Pinocchio. Yeah, see? So, couldn't get on my first try. 
But see what I mean? Like I blocked. I blocked and I still died. So that's a frustrating thing about the guard in this game. And it's like, I don't know, I compare it to Bloodborne mostly because um, that's how it that's how it feels. Like the feel of it is very fast paced, very bloodborne, very dodge heavy. Bloodborne, you don't get shields. There's not really a lot of blocking. You can parry, and that's sort of what the perfect guard feels like. But with enough of a guard component that it feels like a little bit of a guard, which is why when it doesn't actually block damage, it feels like I'm being punished for guarding. Ah. Can't dodge it, said. Watch me. Yes, it's white now. Okay, so there, he staggered. Heal, and then get a little bit of a... Nice, strong hit. And then you keep hitting him, because... Why wouldn't you? Ouch. He flies off the handle. So that's an example of me getting a perfect guard and then I missed it on the second attack. And I'm like, so does the first one count? Also, this is fun. I don't know if you can see his little health bar at the bottom. It's There's a red bit, that's his health left. And then there's the bit that's kind of not as red and that will recover if you don't kill him fast enough there we go you're not supposed to be able to read those subtitles at the bottom that is something that is unlocked in new game plus he actually is saying words to you the character but uh you oop, wrong way <laughs> no wait was that the right way got turned around no, that was the right way. Um, but you don't know what he's saying until New Game Plus. A little treat. A little treat to keep playing through again. Extra story, deeper lore, that sort of thing. Well, second try is not bad. If I do say so myself, I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. Serves you right, you frenzied puppet. Yeah. Die mad about it. And bounce a bit. Whoop, whoop, nope, he's getting better. Nope, he died. I feel happy. I feel happy. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. I'll say. <gasps> a red word. Mm, a special, my special boy. Lying is important in this game. In Disney's Pinocchio, you have to be a good boy, honest, brave, and true, and you get turned to a person. In this game, you gotta lie. Be a naughty, naughty puppet and lie to people. So I'm going to do that. Next time, come back, and I'll tell a lie. If you don't come back, I'll tell the truth. Or will I? You'll never know. Bye!